What's up, Gemini? It's your weekly reading. If you're new here, my name's Tori, and I do these readings for y'all every Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I upload them, uh, if you're interested. If you want a personal reading, that's linked in the description below. If you want to donate to the channel, that's linked in the description below. You can buy me a coffee. It's a one-time donation. Or there will be a card that'll come up <clears throat> in the video at around the 3 minute and 33 second mark. Because I'm clever like that. Uh, you can also become a patron. I upload weekly um, vlogs to Patreon. I'm trying to figure out what day of the week I'll be doing it. But right now it's like Wednesdays or Thursdays. But And you could join my email list. Those are all the ways to support the channel. Every way is linked in the description below. Five of Swords in reverse as the first card out. Six of Swords in reverse. Sheesh. And the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um... Here's, here's, here's the thing. What it feels like is you needing to let go of resistance with the five of swords and the six of swords in reverse, both of them in reverse. And then the 10 of wands is like, things are weighing you down, but the things that are weighing you down are, um, I don't want to say in your head, like, you're making it up but like almost like you're making mountains out of molehills gemini <sighs> like these things are not as bad as they seem right like if you're if you're given a task the ten of wands in reverse can sometimes be like if you're given a task just a simple task you take it as like it's a burden or um it's 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 another thing on your plate when realistically it's just a task you know what i mean like you you make it harder than it needs to be and the five of swords in reverse is all about like letting go of that friction and that tension six of swords is like remaining stuck in the muddy waters but again it's because of the way that you're thinking you see things you know Um, Knight of Swords, yeah. Faith and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like, here's the thing, the Four of Swords, yeah. That's confirmation right here at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Swords is all about needing to quiet the mind and really, like, relax. I feel like y'all are on, like, I don't want to say high alert, but, like, sensory overload when it comes to your thinking, your brain. Right. And so the Knight of Swords is like, OK, everything's going to be all right as long as you tackle ta tasks and things that come your way and responsibilities with a clear, concise plan. And um, and, and, and you um, are consistent and you stand tall and um, true to your beliefs and your morals and your values with this Hierophant here. Um, you can't go wrong. But the page of pentacles in reverse is telling me that like the way that you look at certain things is what's keeping you from doing more for yourself. Like as far as like as far as tasks are concerned, I'll give you an example. Perfect example. Uh, Gemini. <clears throat> I would get new assignments for school, which duh, that's going to happen. It's a new assignment in school. You're in school. Like, you know what I mean? Expect assignments, nothing crazy. Just like, Oh, you have to write this paper. It's not like my professors would be, um, irrational in like the time that they would give us to complete tasks and stuff like that. But I would still literally procrastinate to the, to the very end because I would tell myself the task was too big you know what I mean it's like that sort of energy where you're like oh, this is gonna take so long when realistically it's not if you just do if you just get go into it knowing it hi uh if you just go into it knowing exactly what you need to do and how to do it and use your brain and you know be concise about it um 
It's not. And I would notice that nine out of 10 times, no, 10 out of 10 times, every time I would actually just, instead of thinking about doing it, just do it, it's a lot easier than we make it in our heads. It's that sort of energy that's coming out right now. And so the Four of Swords is all about like maybe taking a little bit of a time out to rest your mind and rest your thinking and, and like relax the way you're thinking about certain things. Relax your thinking. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is kind of like a like heating like you need to heed the warning that um well the page of swords can be a manipulative energy as well so i don't know if you have somebody in your energy that's being a little bit manipulative but with the ace of pentacles in reverse let's see what's coming out three of cups could be a friend or something like that that's being a little bit like um using their brain power for i don't want to say evil but yeah maybe a little bit you're stressing yourself out though in a situation is what i'm saying is what i'm seeing and i'm really getting this energy of like you could have all of these opportunities but like you you don't want to miss out on opportunities or getting a good grade let's say you know what i mean like or whatever because you're a not you're a non-starter because you're making it bigger than it, it than it is you know, the three of cups is also about your community of people around you. Again, your friends, your family, the people that you can lean on, your foundations. Maybe there's something there for you, Gemini, like that might help you, aid you along in on the path so that you can actually complete what it is you're needing to complete. I don't even think it's about completion. I think it's about starting for you. <sighs> You're just like, oh, how can I do this? I have this, 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 and this. Well, you gotta set it. You gotta set it all down on the table, lay it all out, and be like, and and organize it. You know what I mean? And it could. It doesn't have to be like task oriented things. If it's not, if this isn't applying to you, I feel like it is though for a lot of y'all. For a lot of you guys, it's like there's just so much shit to do, and so instead of you tackling it, you're just like stuck because you're looking at the big picture like you're looking at everything that needs to get done all at once instead of taking one task doing it completing it setting it aside taking the next task like you know what i mean that that's literally this that sort of energy and again you have people in your in your corner that can support and help um the page of swords i don't know if that's necessarily a manipulative energy as, as opposed to it's just an energy of like, you can't see straight. <laughs> you know, like it just feels like your thoughts are all over the map. The Nine of Swords is worry too. This Nine of uh, ten, of, uh, 10 of wands really hurts my back. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Queen of wands in reverse. Um, there's the nine of swords. All right, well. And the four of wands. Yeah, you're really needing to get some stability. Um, you could be in conflict with other people. Maybe that's what's keeping you from doing certain things or maybe that's weighing heavily on your brain or like maybe that's the mountain that you're making out of. Uh, maybe that is the molehill you're making into a mountain. Is like maybe you're in conflict with somebody in your life and you're seeing it as like it's the end of the fucking world. It's this big, huge burden when really things are just going to blow over. You know what I mean? Like it's it could be that you're you're worrying for no reason. Um, if it's not if it's not that, then again, it's like you're worrying for no reason when all you really need to be doing is doing. Right. After a period of rest, of getting your mind right, kind of taking tackling this situation, whatever it is, by seeing it in a different light. Uh, again, like going back to the example that I was using, if you have a lot of things on your plate right now, 
okay, think of a Thanksgiving dinner, right? We're, we're always eating a lot, right? You, you have the turkey and all the sides. It can be overwhelming when you look at the entire plate and you're like, how am I going to eat all of this? How do you eat all of it? One fucking bite at a time. That's the overarching em- energy here. And regardless of whatever it is you're going through, right? If you're feeling that overwhelm or whatever, and you're just like, how am I going to tackle this while I have this going on? And then that, and then blah, 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 blah. It just feels like you have a lot on your plate um, to take care of. Well, how, how do you take care of anything in life? One thing at a time, one step at a time. Um, that's literally, I'm, I'm going to stop here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pull three more cards for advice. Even though I feel like I just gave you advice, but whatever. (laughs) King of Wands in reverse. Lovers in reverse. Mm. Pick a different path would be the advice. Two of Wands. But again, plan ahead. The Two of Wands is all about taking, veering off. Like, you know, if something's not working going this way, don't keep beating your head up against a wall. Plan for a different path. I really feel like there for y'all, Gemini, there needs to be this period of rest first and foremost where you guys kind of get your, your brains, quiet your minds a little bit, and then you reassess. That's what I would say is the advice here it's time to take action yeah I feel like it's action in a new direction for for some of you you and your loved ones are safe um that card comes out whenever it's like you're gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine your commitment is being tested commitment to your goals commitment to people in your life I feel like it's more goal oriented and step, step out of your comfort zone. But also the end of a tough cycle approaches, which is good. Like I said, this is a passing thing. It's not going to last. Um, you know what I mean? So hang in there. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's what I have for y'all. I love you guys very much. Let me know in the comments. Does that resonate with you? I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.